Hello, um, we're continuing with life science and cell biology in a nutshell. We're learning about a molecule um, called a steroid, which um, has different functions and um, is naturally produced by the smooth endoplasmic reticulum of cells alongside with lipids. Um, so, um, This is what the model of the molecule looks like. It's four rings, three, um, four rings total with a side chain. Um, it has a minimum of 17 carbons. So it's a large molecule. And uh, oxygens here in red and in white, you have hydrogens coming out. So this is the basic appearance. It has three six carbon rings and one five carbon ring attached all together and the side chain can vary here indicated in R as R. So I have given examples here. This is what the molecule testosterone looks like and progesterone in males and females. Variation in the side chains. This is what cholesterol looks like. <clears throat> this is what vitamin D3 looks like. Slightly different. Also called colacalciferol. <clears throat> and this is an example of how it is a, a steroid molecule, such as lanosterol, which is um, a basic steroid molecule is made from dimethylallylpyrophosphate molecule. So there's different classes, cholestanes, cholanes, pregnanes, androstanes, estranes. Example, cholesterol, cholic acid, progesterone, testosterone, estradiol, all depending on how many carbons the molecule has. So the main classes are um, <clears throat> corticosteroids, progestogens, androgens, estrogens. Um, these three down here are concerned with development um, and reproduction. Corticosteroids are in charge of regulating blood pressure, the immune system, an electrolyte balance. So, um, some more um, no details. Um, so, steroidogenesis is the process by which steroids are generated from cholesterol and changed into other steroids. It differs among species. The prominent members and um, of the steroids are, uh, again, corticosteroids, progestogen, androgen, and estrogen, etc. Um, pro um, progestogens are the precursors of all other human steroids, and all human tissues which produce steroids must f first convert cholesterol to prognenolone. This conversion is the rate limiting step of steroid synthesis, which occurs inside the mitochondrion of the respective tissue. <clears throat> Cortisol, corticosterone, aldosterone, testosterone are produced in the adrenal cortex. Estradiol, estrone, progesterone are made primarily in the ovary. Estriol and placenta during pregnancy and testosterone primarily in the testes. Some testosterone is also produced in the adrenal cortex. Estradiol is converted from testosterone directly in males um, or via the primary pathway DHEA androstenedione estrone and secondary via testosterone in females. 
Stromal cells have been shown to produce steroids in response to signaling produced by androgen starved pro prostate cancer cells. Um, stromal cells. Some neurons and um, glia in the nervous system uh, express the enzymes required for the local synthesis of pregnenolone, progesterone, DHEA, and DHEAS. The novo or from peripheral sources. Um, steroids are primarily oxidized by cytochrome P450 oxidase enzymes such as CYP3A4. These reactions introduce oxygen into the steroid ring, allowing the cholesterol to be broken up by other enzymes into bile acids. These acids can then be eliminated by secretion from the liver. <coughs> the expression of the oxidase gene can be uh, upregulated by the steroid sensor PXR when there is a high blood concentration of steroids, steroid hormones lacking the side chain of cholesterol and bile acids are typically hydroxylated at various ring positions or are oxidized at the 17 position um, conjugated with sulfate or glucuronic acid and excreted in the urine. Microbial catabolism of phytosterol side chains yields C19 steroids, C22 and 17 keto steroids. Um, precursors to adrenocortical hormones, etc. The addition of and modification of functional groups is key um, when producing the wide variety of medications available within this chemical classification. These modifications are performed using conventional path. Um, <coughs> organic synthesis and biotransformation techniques. Human steroidogenesis with the major class of steroid hormones, individual steroids, and enzymatic pathways um, is shown. Changes in molecular structure from a precursor are highlighted. Um, enzymes in their cellular locations, substrates, and products. Um, so, um, in human steroidogenesis shown the major classes of steroid hormones, progestogens, mineral corticoids, glucocorticoids, androgens, and estrogens. They partly overlap, however. For example, mineral corticoids and glucocorticoids overlap. Um, so white circles indicate changes in molecular structure compared with precursors. For uh, more interpretation of molecular structures, see uh, you can see Wikipedia, so the structural formula. Um, so HSD is hydro, excuse me, hydroxysteroid dihydrogenase. So here you have cholesterol molecules shown. Um, <clears throat> cleavage of a side chain of cholesterol yields uh, pregnenolone, uh, which yields uh, via Three beta hydro hydroxysteroid uh, dehydrogenase progesterone. Um, so these are the different pathways it could possibly go to. So ending here, estradiol. Um, here testosterone. Es estradiol. And the end uh, product, aldosterone, corticosterone, cortisol. So these are the mineral corticoids, 
the estrogens, the androgens, progesterone.